worse it's gonna get. Because the longer the truce will be. So I don't fucking know. I don't want to waste my Diplo points and buying on more exhaustion like this stuff. <sighs> Honestly, don't know what to do about that whole Burgundy situation. That is a real problem. I mean, right now we're saving up Atman for, um... For Ethiopia. And we won't even have enough points. Well, we will have enough points for Ethiopia, but we won't have enough points for um, Burgundy. So that's going to be a problem. That, uh, well, there's no event that can save me from this. Honestly, don't really feel like locking up another five armies a second time. Siege this all down again. Those were a lot of level 8 forts, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of level 8 forts. So I'm not so sure what to do here. White Peace Burgundy, come back later. Yeah, but it's the forts, man. It's the fucking forts. That should be a peace deal option. Dismantle fortification. That's the thing that was discussed in peace, man. Destroying forts. The weaker Dawes invaded the southern uh, Austrian Netherlands a lot. And one of the times he wanted to annex the land, but there was a, quite a big coalition against him, and he was like, okay, I won't take the land, or I'll take a bit of land, but I want you to destroy forts there, there, and there, and there, and there. That'd be a nice beast deal option. Unfortify it, especially in the next batch where forts are gonna be. Whew. Forts are just gonna be. Whew. Let's prepare the invasion of Taiwan. Better just siege Ethiopia again if it comes to that. You do raise a fair point. Ethiopia would be... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Better siege Ethiopia again if it comes to that. Because Ethiopia is fucking easy to siege down. Okay. But hold on, we're still going to get coal for peace. And then if I peace out Ethiopia, I can... Uh... I 
can reset the truce timer. And we'll reset the truce timer when it's at one year. Because we still need about 600... 600 admin to peace out to Le Burgundy here. Hold on. See how much we're going to need exactly. 606. How expensive would just taking the forts be like? It'd be 580 to do, but then I'd have to fight him again and I get a longer choice with him. So that doesn't make that much of a difference. Stock cooperation cost increases now. It's fucking bonkers. Like that's honestly gonna screw me over quite hard. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Oh my god, that's a level 2 mountain? You're kidding. That's not good. If I had known that, I would have attacked in two sides. Says the man with the fancy pants T bar W mod. Of course, if Ethiopia gets siege down by rebels, I can keep that war in the back burner, but then I'd have to siege down the provinces again, so. What the fuck is the point? And now we're losing dip. Because we're at low overextension. Did I conquer uh, all of America? No, 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 no. Large parts of it though, but we'll be uh, conquering that by taking over colonial nations. This is 
army missing. 9,000 infantry man. And I've got available mercs. And I've got manpower. And that means we need a new army. Burgundy's gonna fuck me over. Burgundy's gonna fuck me over in the same way that taking shit from Tunis would fuck me over. When are you going to be finished? Man, absolute bane of my existence, I swear to shit. Fuck, man. this guy I don't know what to do man like if I if I wait for the points of burgundy it's gonna take so long how long would that take that would take so long because I could piece him out and just kind of sit on him but then we get problems with France, we get problems with uh, the Ottomans, you get problems with everybody. It's gonna fuck up the, the coring cycle. So I, I think we're just gonna white piece burgundy because it, it's just gonna fuck up my coring cycle and it's it's not gonna it's gonna screw everything up everything so I better white piece him now and then I'll be able to attack him again in five years that would be better um, of course there is a risk of him fucking allying somebody that I don't like Leave them for last. How long will Parma score? Like that's another thing. Parma's cores are going. Like I saw, some of them are going to run out in 1797. So I think what we'll do is we'll just white piece Burgundy because this is just ridiculous, and it's only because Parma blobbed. Yeah, attacking them was a mistake. I hadn't realized. I didn't think about the Parma hostile co-creation cost. It fucking blows though. Yeah, cause that's gonna fuck up France, that's gonna fuck up everything, man. So no, we are gonna peace out Burgundy. So I'm not gonna wait for 900 points. I mean 600 points. So I'm just gonna peace them out. Fight them again in five years. Cause th that's gonna fuck up everything. 
take one to two castles. No, no, no. Even that would screw me over. Because then uh, the truce is going to be longer as well, and I can full annex him. So it's not like it's not like we're necessarily waiting or anything. So wait, let's get some help here. Mostly because if I don't get that help, someone else will. And we have to take these people out. And once we have enough points to peace out uh, Ethiopia, we will. Um, apparently that's going to be a battle in Kutaya. Let's be there to meet them. Are we going to arrive before he does? We will. Fantastic. Are we going to win this battle? Would be nice if we did. Would be terrible if we didn't. Am I glad we even made that decision? That hurts, but it has to be done. It'd be stupid not to. It'd be absolutely bonkers not to. Now we need to piece out Tudus as fast as humanly possible. Um, because that's going to be the time when we fight the Ottomans again. So, there you go. There's a problem with Burgundy. He had land that had hostile claw creation cost reduction. So if we if we had to we'd have to wait for six hundred points, which takes a long time, and then we're going to get called for peace whilst we wait. We're going to get called for peace for like a full year. So it's gonna give me war exhaustion. Uh, I don't have the luxury of paying that down all the time because I'm integrating Cyborg B and I, I want to buy that down I don't want to increase war exhaustion for no reasons. So this is going to allow me to peace out Ethiopia normally. And then when we when we peace out Ethiopia, we'll have time to uh, gather up admin points to peace out France. And then we'll have time to gather up admin points to peace out the Ottomans. And then we'll have admin points to peace out Great Britain. And then we'll have admin points to peace out... You know, but if we piece out two hostile core creation cost countries so close to each other, we that's not possible. We can't. Because we just pieced out Tunis, so our admin point, we're already a little bit too slow on Tunis. But we're making a profit on the others, so that, you know, slowly but surely we're going to catch up in admin points. And pretty soon, in, in seven years, I'm going to be able to ask for more admin points as well. And that's also going to help out. I don't like how you just change direction. But yeah, oh, we'll have to wait, unfortunately. And we won the battle in Taiwan. Fantastic. Could I have freed nations in Burgundy? Yeah, but it wouldn't have mattered because it, 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 it that doesn't do anything. He's already 100%able right now. So that wouldn't really do anything. Okay, so we've uh, sieged down uh, Gafsa. That should mean we have like a ton of war score on you, and that means we can white piece him. Give me a new fancy bench truce with him in 19, 1794, and then we'll, we'll fight him again. We're gonna um, fight the Ottomans in 1794 again. And then we'll uh, piece them out, and we'll get uh, a truce with the Ottomans until 1799, instead of whatever truce we're going to get now, which, even if we were to piece them out right now, I'd, uh, if I were to like somehow be able to siege down the Ottomans instantaneously, my truce with him would be until 17. Uh, let's see, uh, 18, uh, 1806, that's what my truce with him would be, if I were to instantly siege him down. Sieging down the Ottomans is going to take two, three years maybe. So that's going to take three years, so suppose we peace out in 1792, that would give me uh, a truce until uh, 1807, 1808, something along those lines. And now my, my truce with the Ottomans is going to be uh, 1799. So, uh, actually is it 1799? Yeah, 1799, because we can piece, ah, oh, 1790, uh, 1800 maybe. So, we might want a truce break him before then, but now we have that option on the table. So, that's... 
one less truce break to worry about. I don't know how much war is uh, the Ottomans are still going to be. There's no way of telling, really. I mean, it says 580, but it's, it's much, much lower than six wars. It's going to be like maybe four. Because we, we calculated that it was five wars before, and that's when we fought them once. But even that calculation was way off because I was able to full annex Tunis at 166 after fully occupying him. So my truce with the Ottomans is going to be, I mean, uh, the war score on the Ottomans is going to be much lower. If I can take 160 every war, which I'm going to assume now, but once again, on the Ottomans, we can take even more because they're even bigger. So let's say we can take 180 every war. I mean, that's, that might even be three, four, war, three wars or something like that. So I don't know. And then the third war is going to be scraps. So. Start sieging down the autos. these quite happy campers. The thing is, they already have too much land, so I ought to remove some of that. Check the Bohemian cores and barbecue. No, they're still, they're still there. Because that's Czech land. So unless he culture converts that, that those cores are gonna stay there forever. Yeah, I'm pretty. I don't even know if uh, they take that into account when it says total cost cyborg bay. So it doesn't explain. Like for some reason. I was able to take 160% off of the off of Tunis, even though I'm pretty sure it was 133 that you're able to ask for at most. So I'm uh, a bit confused as far as that goes. How much was this again? Oh god, I better be able to quarrel with this one. Actually, that doesn't matter. Now, we're getting called for peace. We should probably peace out, even though we don't have the admin points for it. will we ask off of France? Well, all of his islands. Oh, shit. All of these fucking islands, the Galapagos. This one by Peru, apparently.
There we go. This is not going to be uh, 701. We took a whole bunch of colonies. So I'm not so sure what this is going to be in terms of cost. Admin cost, that is. But that is a number I would like to know how much admin this is going to cost me, so let's uh, redo that piece deal. Because we're taking out quite a bit of uh, land, uh, colonies that. Provinces that aren't going to give me overextension. So we can actually do that, that's better. So France is a uh, 450-ish admin, because the rest is non-overextension land, so I don't need to core that. So 450-ish. Oh, how are Bohemia's cores on non-checked land? Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Well, no, not really, but they're mostly gone. Barbecue is going to be cancelled, though, unfortunately, I think. Certainly quite unacceptable. Him sieging down my capital, that is. Where's the Ottomans' capital? It's in Adana. Luckily, it's going to take forever to siege that down, but still. <laughs> Good job there, Timmy. Wrap this up. Two more. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, never mind. I can't score it, obviously, because I don't have the points for it right now. And when will we get gold for peace? Not for another two years. That should be more than enough time to save up the admin points I need for that. A gold for peace with the Ultimus is going to happen two years after that, so we'll be good to go.
if we even get the siege of Downhill Town. Also, holy shit, let's not forget about this crap. Okay, good to go. If you take pro uh, Turkish provinces in a line from Adana to Erzincan, he move his capital from Adana to central Turkey, and then he wouldn't be able to deal with particular revolt to save you a whole lot of war visits. The state of Saint Tommy. Okay. Mm, I don't think. Uh, I think he'll still be fine. He'll just build units in the other land. Besides, I don't think he'll be able to deal with any revolts anytime soon anyway. Because we'll be fighting him straight afterwards. Straight after we're done with the first war. 